Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'll be switching it up a little bit and I've decided to start a completely new series. So since I'm just starting out on YouTube, as I'm sure many of you are, I thought it'd be fun to document my YouTube journey from the early days and show you guys how I'm getting my channel up and running. I also thought this information might be helpful for other people just starting their channel or even people just thinking about starting a channel but don't know where to start. This series of videos will cover everything from how-tos, tips and tricks, and pretty much everything in between, including a few bumps in the road I had. <laughs> but for the start of this series and today's video, stay tuned to see how I designed my new channel banner. So initially I thought I was going to be designing it on Photoshop, it's usually where I design most of my like graphic design projects, but then I got to thinking that most people probably don't have access to Photoshop and I really wanted this to be something that anyone can easily follow along or implement on their channel. So that being said, I decided to use Canva, which is a free website that allows you to pretty much do any sort of graphic design work from invitations to posters to Instagram posts, anything you could think of really. And it's way easier to use than Photoshop, so that means there's less of a learning curve and less excuses for you to get your channel up and running. But if you do feel comfortable with Photoshop or any more technical um, applications, then feel free to use them. But for the purposes of this video, I really wanted to keep it simple. Alright, so let's get into designing. So to start off, I had to put the measurements for the YouTube banner, which I found online. And now I'm just going into the actual Canva document and starting out with my name. I'm just going through all the different fonts that Canva has to offer. I wanted to see kind of the different variations available and which ones I liked best. I'm pretty picky, so as you can see, it took me a while of going through a lot of fonts to finally find the ones that I wanted to continue my design with. So these are my top two choices. I really like both of them. They're simple and I think they kind of go with the aesthetic of my brand. So next I started designing the actual images and um, background of my banner. So as you can see here, I'm just kind of playing around with different pictures, colors, um, layout of the font until I find something that I like. But there's a lot of options and I'm pretty indecisive. So. It took me a while to kind of decide on something just like the fonts, but yeah, here you can just see me playing around with all the different pictures and everything. So one thing I do want to say is that when you're designing your banner, make sure to really envision what kind of brand you want to be or what kind of brand you are and put that kind of aesthetic and inspiration into your banner so that it resonates with your viewers and it really shows um, you know, your personality and the type of vision you have for your channel. So for example, mine is partially a lifestyle so I kind of wanted to put a picture of me and some of the things that I like on there so you know like flowers or later on I put a, like a beachy tropical um, picture on there and I just want to make it very clean simple and kind of my aesthetic but let's say if you're a cooking channel you know you might want to make it look very like home home style -y or whatever type of cooking channel you might be um, so just keep that in mind when you're designing because I think that's important to kind of carry your brand's image whatever that might be throughout the entirety of your channel
So after a lot of playing around with different shapes, pictures, fonts, I finally decided on the banner design that I wanted to go with. So as you can see here, I'm just switching out the different colors and testing which ones I like best. Um, to be honest, I love all these colors, so it was really hard to pick a final one and I might change between them in the future, maybe like with the seasons or something, but yeah, those were kind of my top favorites from all of my designs. Okay, so here I realized when I tried to upload the banner to my channel that I was actually using the desktop and mobile phone channel banner size, which was too small to upload. So then I realized that I had to get the dimensions for the largest possible size, which was the TV size. And that's why you see kind of a bigger colored space right now. So yeah, that's why I'm importing all of the previous banners into these new banners because I want to make sure that um, I didn't change any of the sizing or anything on them because I liked how they looked but I did have to have the larger background so that it would actually upload to YouTube. And this is just one of the many mistakes that I was talking about earlier. <laughs> so now I'm just exporting my final designs and they are ready to upload. So now that you've seen the final design, I want to go over a few tips and important guidelines when designing your channel banner so that you know what to include. So my first tip is to make sure you have your channel name on there somewhere. This is what people will initially recognize your channel for, so it's important that once they step onto your page, they know whose page it is. The second key component is to have some sort of indicator of what your channel is. So mine, as you saw, says business, entrepreneurship, and lifestyle. That just lets people know what kind of topics I'll be talking about and whether it's a channel that interests them. And it kind of gets people excited to know what they can expect from you. And then you don't have to do this, but I do recommend putting some sort of image on there. So whether that's your face, something related to your brand, or some other type of picture that you think is relevant to your brand. Because it just makes it more interesting and more likely to catch someone's eye. And it can also show a little bit more about your personality, whether that's a picture of yourself or, you know, something related to your business. Finally, my last tip is to try to put your uploading schedule on there if you can. So I currently didn't put it on there because I'm just starting out. So I want to make sure that I'm consistent with my uploading before I commit to any days. I know I have said Tuesdays and Fridays, but until I have kind of maybe like a month or two of that consistent upload of Tuesday and Friday, I don't want to put it out there because then people might be expecting it. And I mean, not that I have that many subscribers, but still, if someone's expecting something, it just leads to disappointment when you don't upload on that schedule. So if you know that for sure you are consistent, then I would highly recommend putting your upload days on your banner. But if not, then just leave them out of it until you can be consistent. I mean, this isn't the most important part of a channel banner, but it does help to know when to expect videos and make your audience excited to see more of you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to show you guys that it's really quick and easy to design a channel banner if you're interested in starting or just starting out or even if you want to just switch up the one you've had and you haven't really done anything for a while in regards to design work. If you guys want to see more videos about getting your channel up and running and having it look very professional right from the start, like this video so I know you guys are interested and subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with all of my latest videos. Thanks for watching and let me know if there's anything else you'd love to see in regards to getting your channel up and running. I'd love to help out and try some new things out that I might not have done yet. I know I want to continue this series so it probably won't be back to back but throughout the next couple of months I'm going to sprinkle in some of these videos into my channel as I build my YouTube channel up so as I'm learning I want to share my information with you guys and hopefully help others because I know I was in this position about a month ago when I started my channel and I was looking up resources from other YouTubers or just googling it online and it was a huge help so I'd love to be a help to anyone else in the same position. But that's all I have for now so see you guys next time. Bye!